and we back now I'm a man of the people right so when I see a bunch of comments suggesting the type of video I gotta bring it out to y'all because obviously y'all want to see what's gonna happen so in today's video we're going to be accepting every rule change that is proposed to us in the offseason so let's random select the team this is not a rebuilding challenge at all I, anybody but the Warriors <laughs> I still I don't want to be associated with the Warriors even in a fake video the Wizards is even it's, it's okay um, we're gonna make all this auto because not a rebuilding video but you know in the off season there's that one tab that says rule changes and in there you can get different things that can affect player stats affect how much money a player makes affect how young players come into the league and all of that so in this video we're accepting all of it for a few years we're gonna see how much that could affect the NBA season let me load in a 2019 draft class again not a rebuilding challenge or anything like that so I won't be making any trades or anything but I still want to see you know Zion and company uh, come into the league and see how good they gonna be so the first step is to get to the offseason the Warriors won a championship Kevin Durant won MVP finals MVP and regular season MVP I didn't think the awards matter too much it's basically exactly what you would expect in real life but instead it had uh Kevin Durant win MVP instead of Giannis or instead of James Harden all the players were tying Durant, but this is where we're here for league meetings okay so a league change to the draft lottery the top seven picks are done through the lottery the remaining picks are determined by team record approve so the way this is going to affect the league is that y'all know that the bottom 14 teams are thrown into the lottery and even if you're the 14th team you have a chance to get the first overall pick but with this if you're not bottom seven you don't have a chance of the first overall pick opposing teams were into the bonus after 14 fouls sure abolish the salary cap that's about to make the league go insane yes which means that there is no cap of how much money you can spend so you thought ideas of like te teammates growing up or, or, or staying together or superstars being on the same team that is going to happen way more often now that there's no salary cap there's no restrictions and that's crazy shot clock resets to full duration when possessors made the same team that's actually what they just changed in real life so y'all know after an offensive board there's only 14 seconds with this rule saying nope it goes back to 24 and the top eight teams of the conference are seated one through 16 for the playoffs so that's close to basically getting rid of conferences once we get to um the playoffs like no joke the salary cap thing the playoff thing um are really going to affect the league. I'm just going to go straight to rookie signings. Or basically, what we're going to do, we're going to simulate the entire season after we see what free agents sign where because, like I said, salary cap is gone. And as you can see here, when we go to Team Intel, that cap space says NA, which means that it don't even matter. It don't even matter. So I'm very curious to where superstars are going to sign now that basically they can sign to any team that, that wants to sign them. We're going to hop in and just see where players sign. Kevin Durant went to the Spurs. Kyrie. In real life, Kyrie said he just got off the phone with, the, with LeBron talking about leadership. And he must have talked to LeBron and said, hey, I want to sign with y'all. And he doesn't. Wow. Kyrie and LeBron back together, but this time in LA. That's funny. DeMarcus stays with the Warriors. Cat stays with the Timberwolves. The Hawks sign Clay Thompson. Jimmy Butler goes to the Heat. There's a picture out there of Jimmy Butler in his yearbook that says the team he would never wear a jersey for are, is the Miami Heat. And in this 2K, well, he signed with the Miami Heat. Kimba Walker also goes to the Lakers. See, no salary cap. Got Kimba, Kyrie, and LeBron all on the same squad. The Knicks keep Chris Stops. The Cavs keep K-Love. Nick Vucevic stays with the magic the rockets pick up tobias harris julius randall also goes to the rockets oh man the spurs get kevin durant and chris middleton and they still got demar they still got uh lma so things are looking cool for them the clips pick back up eric bledsoe he's back there paul Millsap stays with the nuggets the pacers pick up deandre jordan and as cancer goes to the kings which in real life may happen he may get traded to the kings at least that's the rumor Michael Brogdon stays. Nico Mirtis goes to the Jazz. Miles Turner stays. Derrick Rose goes to the Warriors. I mean, I guess it's not ring chasing no more because they don't have Kevin Durant or Klay Thompson. So he's just trying to get some minutes. I respect that. The Pacers pick up IT. The Spurs still have Rudy Gay. Derrick Favors goes to the Suns. 76ers keep JJ. Anything super surprising left, though? Dwayne Wade is back with LeBron, too. Yo. The Lakers said this offseason is going to be theirs, and uh, they made it happen, man. Okay, so that's pretty much all of that. 
I'm just very curious to see what the power rank is going to look like going into this season. All right, so let's look at the power rankings. The Toronto Raptors are number one. They got Cal Lowry, DeLon Wright starting at shooting guard now. Basically the same roster, but DeLon Wright, Kevin Looney are on this team, and Trey Jones, who they drafted with the 29th pick. The Warriors are starting Derrick Rose at the shooting guard, but this is the second best team in the league. They saying they picked up Jabari Parker, but is this the second best team in the league? I don't know. The Spurs are looking super nice. Honestly, they got Chris Middleton as a sixth man, and I think that they should have LaMarcus at center, KD at power forward, Chris Middleton at small forward, DeMar DeRozan and DeJounte Murray, but I mean, pop it's pop. Pop always going to make it work. The Houston Rockets, Chris Paul, James Harden, Tobias Harris, Julius Randle, Clint Capella. That starting five is nuts. The Celtics are relying on their young talent a lot more now. Relying on their young talent a lot more. And they pick up this guy with the 12th pick from Stanford. The Lakers are sixth with Kyrie, Josh Hart, James, um, LeBron James, Cal Kuzma, Dwayne Dedman. Kimba coming off the bench is, tra is a travesty. But he's not big enough to run shooting guard at 6'1". Kyrie's only 6'3". They could play together, but um, that's a big yikes. That's a big yikes for them. And they got Brandon Ingram off the bench. Alonzo is still coming off the bench. They got Bo Bo, Dwayne Wade. Okay. OKC, basically the same roster. Jeff Green is back <laughs> in OKC. The Pacers, guys, that time is starting. But that's pretty much it. We're going to simulate to the end of the season, basically see how the no salary cap affected the entire league. All right, so Giannis won an MVP. Zion wins rookie of the year. And the rest of the awards don't really matter too much. I'm just very curious to how the seeding worked out. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. I forgot that this even happened. The Bulls were the 16 seed, so they're matching up against Toronto. Utah is matching up against Miami. East and West teams are playing against each other in the playoffs first round. We don't have to wait all the way to the championship, man. We can have two East teams play or two West teams play. This is insane. This is insane, and I'm super happy this is a thing. I'm glad y'all recommended me to do this video. But I'm, I'm very curious to if there's a team out there that may be disappointed. The Lakers? Where are the Lakers at? Oh, they were the one seed. Yikes. The be one of the best teams in the league. But is there a good team bought down here that disappointed? The Nuggets. 2K never shows respect to the Nuggets ever. The Trailblaze is pretty much the same thing. The Pels suck even with Anthony Davis. Is he on the last year of his deal? No, he resigned. So, man, I was very curious to see where he would sign, but he, he resigned there. The 76ers didn't make it at all with Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid, but they don't have Jimmy. They don't have another third star. So, they're kind of, they're struggling. They're struggling out there. This is amazing. I, I'm, I'm so happy this is a thing. But the bad thing about it is, so our team, the Washington Wizards, made the playoffs. But there is a team out west with a better record than us that didn't make it. Because it still has to be 12 from the East and 12 from the West, which is kind of trash. Instead of it just being the top 16, you still need uh, you still need X amount from this side and X amount from this side. Uh, not 12, but 8. The top 8 from each side. So, whatever. I just want to see how it's going to go. Simulate the entire playoffs, and we'll we'll see what we, we notice. Um, the Warriors are down to the Orlando Magic 3-0, which is crazy. They got swept by the Orlando Magic, who the 14th seed. So there's the first upset right there. The 14th seed beating the 3 seed. It's like March Madness. It's like March Madness, baby. And then, dang, that Spurs team that was incredible with KD, DeMar, uh, Chris Middleton. They got eliminated in the first round by the 11th seed, the young Boston Celtics with no Kyrie. Jalen Brown did his thing in game seven. Wow. Okay. So we had two upsets in the first round. Let's see what else is out there. Two double-digit seeds going head-to-head. -head, and the Boston Celtics make it to the conference finals. Seventh seed, 11th seed versus the one and four seed. Who's going to come out on top? The Toronto Raptors get swept by the four seed. And the Bucks make it to the finals. Giannis and company lose to Chris Paul, James Harden, and them. But honestly, this Giannis team is not that great. So it's a surprise that they made it this far. They don't have Chris Middleton anymore. They don't have Brooke Lopez, anything like that. They made it to the finals, and they were eliminated. That was incredible. That is incredible first season. So let's go to league meetings for the second year. 
Change the Rise of Stars challenge to 12 players. That don't really affect anything. Eliminate the violation requiring the offense to advance the ball from the backcourt to frontcourt within a specific amount of time. So there is no eight second violation if you don't get the ball up. That was just a long sentence to say, get rid of the eight second violation. Uh, players will not be eligible for the NBA draft until at least three years removed from high school or an international player 21 years old. Isn't that like what it is in football? Like you have to be a junior in college or something like that to make it, which sucks because I was hoping we got the one that says, hey, you can be in the league at 18. But whatever. Have the trade deadline occur one week earlier? Sure. Uh, implement a possession error rule to be used in place of a jump ball after an opening tip. Fine. So if a play, if two players are, are grabbing for the ball, instead of us re-jumping it, it's just a possession arrow like it is in college. We're going to go the same thing we did last time. We're going to go to free agency and see who signs where. But that, that first year, after all the league changes, was really tight, man. That was a good year. We got players signing different teams. We got the, the whole um, playoff thing was great. But let's see. Ben Simmons stays the 76ers. Drummond stays the Pistons. Hassan Whiteside goes to the Grizzlies. Any players switching teams? No, players are just signing. Mike Conley goes to the Pistons, so that's different. They're going to have Mike Conley, Blake Griffin, and Andre Drummond, which sounds pretty decent. Brandon Ingram stays. Pretty much everybody staying with their team, which sucks. I want to see players jumping all across the league, but I guess it's not happening. Hern Gomez goes to the Bulls. Isaac Bonga goes to the Jazz. But nothing, nothing super serious. Ricky Rubio goes to the Mavericks. Nothing really. So we're going to simulate the entire next season and see what uh, league meetings are next. Giannis won MVP. Uh, now we're getting to the point where they're like made up rookies, but this guy won uh, rookie of the year. Six man of the year went to Marcus Gasol. He's not even starting on his own team. Uh, Anthony Davis won defensive player of the year. Romeo Langford wins most improved with the Bulls. Okay. And Mike D'Antoni wins coach of the year. Now, we still haven't got to any real meetings that change the overall outcome of the games. Like, I know there are some league changes that's like, get rid of the shot clock. And if we got rid of the shot clock, we wouldn't have players averaging like 25, 30 points per game. Because teams and games would be a lot more grinded out. But here are stats for the season if you care. Let's see what teams made the playoffs or what teams didn't. Um, the Bulls make the 76ers get there after missing it last year. That Pistons team that I thought was going to be at least a little bit decent didn't make it with Mike Conley, Blake Griffin, and Andre Drummond. Also got Serge, Jeremy Lin off the bench, and then Deion, DeAndre Hunter. I had to make sure I was pronouncing that right. They got Andre and DeAndre. And then now West, that Spurs team didn't make it. What? Pops playoff streak comes to an end. And he had KD, DeMar, LaMarcus, and Chris Middleton, and a uh, like young Lonnie Walker. How does this team not make the playoffs? That's crazy. I'm sorry, Pop, that it had to happen, man. I'm sorry it had to happen. But all right, let's see who wins the championship. Is there going to be any more upsets like it was last year? All right. Our roster Wizards did make it. Um, the Minnesota Timberwolves are up 3-1 against Atlanta as the 10th seed. And they make it. We, we get eliminated. The two seed. Hold on. Let's stop the simulation. The two seed Toronto Raptors get eliminated by Philly. That's that's big. Kawhi and them just get stopped by Ben Simmons, Markel, and Joel. Markel's an 83 overall now. His three-point rating is a 77. So we got it together at least a little bit. And then also down here, LeBron and them get eliminated in the first round. LeBron, Kyrie, and Kemba get eliminated in the first round. That's insane. To the Young Kings, Marvin Bagley is now an 86. Buren Fox is an 88. Buddy Hield is an 85. They got Kelly Oubre. They, hey, they looking decent. They looking decent. And then um, the 5C Phoenix Suns don't make it out. We had D-Book versus Donovan Mitchell. And Donovan Mitchell squad makes it out. So we got three big upsets in the first round. This is the type of stuff that could happen if the NBA got rid of conferences. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Better matchups in the first round. A lot of those series, none of those series, oh, actually one of those series ended in a sweep. One of those series ended in a sweep. But the rest of them go five games, six games, seven games. All right, let's see who makes it to the championship. Minnesota versus the OKC Thunder. So this is the first official 
West versus West NBA Finals. Carl Anthony Towns. Oh my God, it was. Is that who I think it is? Jaleel Okafor put up 31 in the playoff game. Russell Westbrook, Paul George, and Stephen Adams versus I guess Jaleel Okafor and Big Cat. Okay, C wins four to two. And Russell Westbrook gets his ring. Modified goal tended rules such that once the ball hits the rim, any player can legally make a play on the ball. I think that's how it is in the Euro League. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's true. When the ball hits the rim, you can knock it off. Maybe I'm wrong there. Offensive and defensive key violations are changed from three seconds to five seconds. Okay, that may affect something. <gasps> Eliminate the shot clock is right there. All right, so that's entertaining. Um, division winners... We'll get the top three playoff seeds in each conference based on record. Sure. And eliminate the shot clock. So y'all know how we be having games that end like 130 to 120. Without a shot clock, everybody's stats are about to get cut in like half. Watch. I'm, I'm predicting it because I ain't seen it. But that's my prediction. Change the number of fouls required to foul out to seven. Sure. All right. And that's it. We're going to go to free agency just like we did last time and see if there's any big name players out there on the market and where they're going to sign. But uh, this next season is going to be really fun. It's going to be really fun to see how many points per game each team averages. So what should we, what we should do this first. For reference, this is what teams were averaging before. 118 were the most points per game. And that was by the Houston Rockets. And the lowest was 101. All right. So keep that in mind for next season. We'll see how much it changes. So let's see who signs where. Giannis stays the Bucks. Oh, see, everybody's just resigning. That's no fun. Giannis, man, you're not supposed to have that loyalty. Damien, you're not supposed to have that loyalty. Go play somewhere else for the, for the sake of the video. Whoever this guy is signs with the Mavericks. He's a 90 overall 20-year-old player. This is an auto-generated player. 90 overall, first overall pick from Croatia. And he plays with the Mavs now. That's going to be insane. De'Aaron Fox leaves. That's big. That's big. De'Aaron Fox goes to the Nuggets. Okay. So that's the first person to basically move. Jaron Allen goes to the Heat. Spencer Dinwiddie goes to the Suns. But that's pretty much it. Everybody else is pretty much staying where they are. So I'm just very curious to see how many points per game each team averages next year. So I'll be back. So we're at the awards. And that 90 overall rookie didn't even win uh, rookie of the year. But this guy's also... He's an 86 overall rookie. I don't know what 2K is doing with these rookies, but they're they're incredible. Uh, most improved went to Aaron Holiday. Zion is first team All NBA. He's a 92 overall now. He's averaging 17, 8, and 4, which is good numbers, but then like super crazy. Anyway, here's how the playoffs are, are matched up. Popping them made it this time. Okay, Kevin Durant doesn't miss the playoffs again. But let's look at the um Points per game, like we said. Let's look at how many points per game each team averaged. Oh, so not much has changed. They were at 118 last year and they were 116. So I definitely thought, I definitely thought that a lot of teams are going to score the ball less, but that just didn't happen. Okay. My hypothesis was wrong. But let's see who ends up winning the championship. I think I'm going to go two more seasons of accepting all the rules and then we'll call it a video because I've been here for a minute. And uh, I like where things are going. Any upsets this round, though? The Phoenix Suns are like, yep, the Phoenix Suns upset the Cavs at the 11-6 seed. But it's pretty much it. That's the only big upset. But they have Devin Booker. They have Zion. So I don't know how they're on the 11 seed, but they are. OKC making it back to the conference finals. I mean, I guess technically it's not even the conference finals anymore. It's just the semifinals. You feel me? Because there's no conferences. LeBron is in the semifinals. And LeBron and Kyrie, can they do it? They're all, oh, they almost blew a 3-1. They almost blew a 3-1. And it's going to be LeBron gets another one. LeBron gets another one at 37. Game 7, they went by 17. Um, He did not have a good game 7, though. Oh, the, the media is going to kill him, but they won the game. So I guess it don't matter. Kyrie came to... Came to save in game seven. It's not the first time that's happened. No, let me let me stop joking. Let me stop joking. Let's go straight to the league meetings, though. Long-term contracts to players nearing the age of 26, that I mean 36, that don't matter too much. 
The top 12 picks are done through the lottery. That don't matter. The three worst teams will each have a 14% chance of obtaining the first overall pick. All of these are draft related. Opposed teams will enter the bonus after third. See, none of these are good. Automatic points will be now granted on shooting fouls. There are no free throws will be taking place for fouls. That's a crazy one. That's a crazy one. So all of our worst free throw shooters in the league don't have to worry about nothing. Lonzo, all the other bad ones <laughs> don't have to worry about nothing. Just get fouled. James Harden is about to average like 100. Now that he don't even have to take the free throws, they just give him the points like that. But the rest of these are trash. Is there any rule changes that I want to see myself? The All-Star game doesn't matter because we simulate right past that. We already got rid of the shot clock. Um, we already changed the foul out stuff. Eight second violation is no longer there. Backcourt violation is no longer there. We've basically done almost it all. We've almost done it all. There's no more goaltending. I mean, where there's, yeah, there's no more goaltending really. The sudden death overtime could be interesting. Um, eliminate financial restrictions. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do, which means that you know how in real life, if James if James Harden, was just the player we're going to name, is making $35 million a year and you're trading him, you need to trade him to a team that has $35 million or exchange the contracts. But with that, you can trade somebody making $35 million for $3 because it just doesn't matter anymore. So that's something we're going to look into when we look at trades and stuff. But we're going to go straight to free agency just like last time and see how things go. Um... This Washington Wizards team is not that bad. John Wall, Bradley Beal, Otto Porter. They got Jay Morant. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, but they got him on the roster. Team is not terrible, man. Team's not terrible. They made the playoffs the last couple years, too. Steph Curry stays the Warriors. Luka stays. Everybody's staying. This is lame. Everybody's staying with their squad. Nobody's moving on to different places. Um, This guy signed with us. Whoever the heck this is. From Romania, he's an 84 overall center. Everybody else is just resigning. But okay, the next thing to see, we're going to stop at the trade deadline this season to see how many trades went on and if any of those were because of the rule we changed. Ben Simmons is the league MVP. He shot 50% from three. A three-point rating of 50. 50%. 50%. 50 rating. How many did he hit, though? That's what I care about. He was one of two, but over the past couple years, look, he, he hit nine in his career. Come on, man. Y'all need to stop saying he can't shoot. He had nine total threes in his career. All right, but let's see how things go. Um, I did stop halfway through to look at trades, but literally no trades happened. So even that uh, rule change did not matter. But let's see who wins the championship here. I pretty much think that's the end of it all, though, guys, because the rule changes aren't changing, <laughs> aren't changing that much. Aren't changing that much. The best thing is this thing. The best thing is getting rid of the conferences in the playoffs. That was just the best thing. And then um, the no shot clock thing. I thought it would affect some stuff, but it really didn't. But that's it. Let's just see who wins the championship. We got two upsets. Rookie, I mean, not rookie. League MVP Ben Simmons gets swept in the first round. Not my MVP. But yeah, they got swept in the first round, which is crazy. By the Spurs, though. So, this it was Kevin Durant and company. Lakers versus the Cavs. We got Kyrie and LeBron going against their former teams, who now has Colin Sexton, who I guess is the greatest ever. He's an 86 overall. He's averaging 23 points per game. He got them all the way to the semifinals. But can they make it out and beat LeBron? No. LeBron versus the Rockets. Rockets up 2-0, 3-0. And, wow, that was, that was sweet, huh? James Harden wins finals mvp that's it boys we're gonna go to league meetings one more time one more time and just if there's something there that's super cool then we'll keep going they want to bring back the salary cap we're not gonna do that uh but that's it that's it not having a salary cap was pretty cool for one season because we got to see players go to teams we've never seen them go before let's find a good example of that let's find a good example um, that could happen in real life. I doubt it'll happen, but Klay Thompson to the Hawks could happen. Jimmy Butler to the Heat, we never would that see that happen in real life, so that's one effect of it. Uh, Kyrie and Kemba to the same team in LA, that was very different. 
but yeah, that's that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, sit to leave it a like. Let me know some different suggestions you want to see him in next videos. We were on the trending page for yesterday's video, so let's try to do that again. We're gonna comment no rules, no rules. That's all. All right, thank y'all. Peace.